With Austin Sindrick going to the 2 and Harrison Byrne going to the 21, it seems as if Matt DeBandetto has been pushed down to the mud for the second time in only two years. And funnily enough, by a Toyota driver again as well. But no matter how it happened, the fan favorite is without a drive again. So where is he going? Let's answer that today. Stuart Haas Racing is in a tricky spot right now. Their performance this year has been less than optimal to say the least. Whether it be poor luck, bad pace, or just a sheer lack of talent. From 9 Xfinity wins and 10 Cup wins last year to basically nothing, SHR is changing. And with this change comes a change in drivers. Clint Boyer, Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, and Tony Stewart are either gone from the team or are in the swan song of their careers. The team isn't filled with the experienced veterans they had before instead changing the guard to the youngsters of the future. A team with rookies needs an experienced driver, but they also need a mediator. Kevin Harvick is old enough to be some of these guys' dads, so we need a driver that can bridge that gap between old and new. Sure, Almirola might be at the team, but with his career besides the play tracks being less than ideal and Smithfield bringing back their sponsorship with every year, I think it's safe to assume that SHR needs a new driver. And this is where Matt Benedetto comes in. Matt Benedetto has the potential to be a great star in our sport. He just needs that incentive to take that next step forward. De Benedetto is a racer, and if you give the racer the chance to learn from one of the best in our sport and teach the next generation, he will take that opportunity 10 times out of 10. By the time the 2022 Daytona 500 rolls around, we could see De Benedetto in that 10 car or we can see him in the Xfinity series. It's safe to say that Riley Herbst's racing career has been less than stellar, to say the least. Use for him, he has three top ten, actually four top ten finishes. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the lips! Look at the- <laughs> Oh, who am I kidding? He's been fucking dreadful. He did jack shit with Joe Gibbs Racing, and he's doing jack shit with Stuart Haas Racing. So if Tony Stewart wants a driver that can put the car in victory lane and not in the wall, I think De Benedetto's the guy for him. Now, I have seen people link De Benedetto to the 22 car in the Xfinity series, but in all honesty, from how De Benedetto talked in the Facebook video he put out this morning, I think he's pretty disgusted with the antics of what Penske did to him. Think about that, Penske Racing this morning lost one of the best drivers and one of the most marketable drivers and replaced them both with two wet pieces of paper. No offense to Austin Sindrick and Harrison Byrne, but they aren't the most exciting people in the world now are they? Matt Benedetto to Stuart Haas Racing is a great idea, but just because I believe this doesn't mean the man isn't up for criticism. While I do believe Matt Benedetto can wheel a car pretty damn well, it's time for him to show it consistently because time is running out. If he can't show speed and SHR equipment, I think it's time to move on. On June 17th, Truck Series Powerhouse GMS announced that it was planning to race in the Cup Series for 2022. And with a new team, they want an experienced driver at the helm, and this is where Matt Benedetto comes in again. Sure, the guy doesn't have much cup experience compared to Chase Elliott even, but he's got a lot more experience than anyone in GMS's driver repertoire at the moment. Matt can coach this team to future success and have a steady ride to get his footing back under him. Only time will tell if Matt Benedetto can find a seat, but without a doubt, he'll make himself heard. Thank you for watching this video of just my random thoughts on the Matt Benedetto free agency deal. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're feeling extremely generous. Uh, leave your thoughts below if you want to. Uh, I've been Caroline, and I need to hit the road.